Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hi hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Coney Island. This is their Freaktoberfest. I'll be honest with you guys. I bought this beer just because of the label. The freaky face on the label. <laughs> I know, it doesn't have very good reviews and I haven't heard anything good about it so I really don't expect it to be good. So uh, I bought it just to, just to, just because the label is so interesting. So. Uh, this is from the Schmaltz Brewing Company. So let's get some info on this beer. The Schmaltz Brewing Company, they're out of San Francisco, California. So this beer, this beer come across the country and like I said, I just seen it. So this is their, their seasonal Oktoberfest beer from what I take. It's an American Amber Slash Red Amber. Coming in at 6.66. You reckon they uh, did that for the freakish devilish thing going on there? So. Uh, right, strange ABV or quite coincidental, don't you think? This is a this is a fall serving, like I said, the food pairings for this the cuisine is Latin American. And the meat is beef and poultry. The glass is a pint. Becker Stein mug. You could use a Pilsner glass on this one too if you wanted. Uh, just about anything you want to pour it in. Just dump it out of that bottle. The uh, beer is not recommended for extended cellaring. Uh, Six point six. It's going to keep a little while, uh, and not being a super hoppy beer, so. Uh, I wouldn't keep it longer than a year. Uh, you wouldn't have no reason to because they're probably going to produce it again next fall. So if you got one of these, you can keep it around to probably June or July, but drink it up before then because they're going to have some more out right after that. So here we go with this one. Oh, this looks a like very, this is definitely a red beer. It almost looks like a beet juice that I did from, uh, a wacko beer. I can't remember what it was it right now, but made out of made with beets. It was horrible. I gave it a better grade than it should have got. I think I don't know if it was a D or what it was. It should have been poor. It should have poured it out. I hate doing that though. Yeah, it's very red, very very ruby reddish color almost. It's not quite to the. Well, yeah, I say it's not it's not dark, but it is a very red beer. Probably one of the reddest beers that I've seen, other than a beet beer. <laughs> Got a lot of bubble streaming up. Didn't pour a monster head or anything. So uh, let's get a nose on this one. See what it's about. I don't know if they even put any hops in this or not. It's a very sweet smelling beer, almost like a barley wine or something like that. Very heavy in the. Well, it's not strong in the alcohol, just 6.6, .6, but it smells like it's stronger than that. It smells very alcohol forward, if you know what I mean. If you smell the barley wine, most of them are 10% or so. Well, not smelling any hops. A little bit of roasty malt, a lot of roasty malt, and a lot of, I'm not saying alcohol, because it's not that strong in alcohol. So let's see what it's got to taste. Cheers. This is like a barley wine light. That's exactly how I would. Got a very strong sweet taste. Right different though. Right strange. Let me see if there's anything on the label that needs to be repeated or, or stated here. This is Freak's beer favorite. I don't know who Freak's is. This is not an Oktoberfest. This is a Freaktoberfest. Ah, okay. Beer creeps, lager freaks. Arise and take possession of this bewitched offering of the season, crafted to lure your spirits in deepest rapture. 
con conjured to um, uh, exercise the grim horrors of the armies of soulless drafts everywhere. Mm -mm. They even get smaller and smaller. You almost have to have a microscope to read this stuff and get so small on the side of the bottle. Six malts, six hops, 6.6% ABV, blood red lager. Indulge your inner beer freak. Gimmicky or good? Both. This is a fun, offbeat, and tasty lager. They already put some hops in that lager, but I guess a lot of the lagers don't have a lot of hops in it. I think Miller says they, they're, they're free hops, so, so I guess they use free hop cones in about 10,000 gallons because I ain't never tasted any hops in that beer. This is like a body wine light now, so it's definitely not not like an American amber that I've had. It's definitely red. Definitely a red beer, no doubt about that. You see that, guys? This is red. That's probably the, one of the reddest beers, other than the beet beer that I've had that I've seen. It's definitely a red, red beer. But it doesn't have a lot of outstanding taste. It's uh, this is like eggnog. If you had one, you've had enough. <laughs> I'm a little warm up, guys. I'm being critical on this one, but it it tastes like an average beer to me. So uh, nothing special stands out. It's a really sweet beer, and I'm not a big fan of the the sweeter barley wines. Uh, I'm gonna share this with the other half and see what her, her reaction is, and see if I'm getting if I'm being partial or prejudiced, and see if I get a true reaction or. But she's in the other room and she's not hearing any of this, so I'll be right back. I'm going to do the final show and see if it's a confirmation vote. Be right back. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, got just a little bit left in the glass, and it's a good thing. I mean, this is nothing special. This is an average. It's a sea beer. If you see it and it's cheap, pick it up, try one. If you had to buy more than one, I'll be better walk away. Cheers. It's like an extra light barley wine. If you like that, if you like the taste of a, of a barley wine, a sweet one, and you want to drink about four or five of them, maybe six, and not get trashed like one barley wine is probably going to do you, this will probably be the one. It's a very sweet beer. Very, very sweet. Uh, there may be some girls out there, some women out there that like this beer because it is a very, very sweet beer. So, not doing it for me. It's a, it could be a good session barley wine, eh? if you know what I'm saying. You could drink a few of these. So. Guys, uh, I'm going to give it, like I said, I'm going to give it to four. It's a sea beer. Great beer has a 28 overall and a 24 in the style, so nobody there is impressed. And Beer Abbott comes up with a C plus. So, uh, not that impressed to give it the plus on the C. So, I'm going to stick with the sea beer. Uh, doesn't have a date or anything on the lab. Of course, I know it's this year is a edition, but anyway, not all that. So, if you've had it, give me some comments back, guys. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. And if you watch the videos and you like them, hit that like button down there underneath there. I appreciate it. All the uh, all the subs. I'm over three thousand now, and guys, I'm humbled. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments. So, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll see what we're gonna have then. Maybe be a little bit better than a sea beer. I sure hope so. See you then.